Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Mokyasa IC Services. My name is Arkan and today I'd like to present to you two of the best units for performing positive material identifications. These units are handled, of course, uh, pretty you know, lightweight to use. And they are from SIAPS, the Z902 in the X200. So uh, let's do a couple of demonstrations for both of the units, right? So this one here is the XRF technology, right? As you can see, super lightweight. Right? So, you know, running the test on each of these units is pretty easy. You just turn on the, the unit. Of course, you don't forget to put your battery on. Uh, and then you press on Analyze, right? So then you're prompt to choose uh, one of the applications. Like, for example, in this case, I'm going to choose Alloy, okay? And you see that now uh, a camera pops up, right? Because uh, why not take a picture, right? Uh, so this, this unit, basically, the, the LIPS unit, the Z902, comes with some test blocks, okay? So as you can see, some certified reference material blocks here, okay? So we're going to use these blocks uh, to run some tests on both of the units, okay? So, for example, from here, let's just choose this guy, which is uh, the... 304, okay, 304 block. So let's put this here, and the good guy, and let's start the test, right? So starting the test is as easy as putting the unit on it and just pressing the trigger, right? So let's do that. Let me put the, the unit there. Let me press the trigger. Okay. You instantly get the chemical composition of the all elements. In addition to that, you get the grade match, right? You see at the top, we have a grade match 304, okay? Let's wait a bit. The results, the, or the test is complete, right? So right now here, you can view all the, the chemical composition, and also you can view the, 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 the grade match. So within the unit, it's a pre-saved sort of database, right? which it compares all this chemical composition to and decides which grade it is or identifies the grade for you. So here you see that we identified 304, 98% match, okay? And the test and the uh, test we done was on uh, 304 test block, okay? So a couple of cool things you can do here. Of course, take a picture, right? You see? So I'll take a picture of the, you know, of the block and I'll press the trigger, we took a picture, and I'll just save that, okay? And now, of course, I can uh, name the sample, right? So, for example, here, let me go ahead and say 304, okay? That's all. Now, one very cool thing you can do here in this unit, or in both units, right, is the way you export the reports. Oh my goodness. What you do is you just click on the three dots, you come down, you, you press on sure, and if you happen to have a phone, right, you can just, uh, you know, you can just send it to your phone. So let me on my phone, get my Bluetooth on, send this report right to my phone. Click send via Bluetooth. Okay, so we, we got the report in our phone, right? So as you can see in the report, you get the, you get the chemical composition of the all elements uh, that are found within the, within the test block, right? And you get the picture that we took and also the sample ID that we put there, right? And of course, with the time and you know, the serial number of the, of the unit you used to test. And of course, most importantly, you get the grade match, right? So for example, here we got the grade match to uh, 304, 98.2% match, okay? We got the 303, 89.8% match, okay? So, as you can see, using this handheld beast, let's say, is, is pretty easy and, uh, you know, pretty lightweight. So, this one is the XRF technology. Now, if you take a look here, I have the, the LIPS technology, right? So, this unit, with this unit, you can also detect carbon, 
right? Since it's LIPS technology. So let's run a couple of tests on this also. Now, same basic, same basic setting goes for this one also. So let me show you, right? When you, when you push the turn on button, you, I mean, this screen uh, welcomes you. You just press on analyze, okay? And you choose one of the applications, just as we did on this unit. You press, for example, whatever app you want to use to, do, to run the test. We press carbon, right? And yeah, same thing. We, uh, we run the test on the block. So let's choose a different block for this one, right? Again, let's use the blocks that comes with the uh, LIPS Z902, right? So as you can see, right, we have, uh, we have many blocks that come through with the Z902. Of course, we have these also. So let's choose one of them. This is the 316 uh, reference block, okay? So running the test on, on this lips, also pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Just put the sample there, okay? And uh, yeah, press the trigger, that's it. And wait for the unit to do its thing, right? So right now we're pre-burning the, the sample surface and then we're running tests. So for this specific unit, we have set the uh, number of tests per trigger to three. Right? So we run three tests per trigger, okay? And then we get the average for all. Okay, so the test number three is done. I put the sample away and I press save, right? And we instantly, instantly we get the great match, right? So as you can see, it shows you the number of tests or the number of report and the great match, which in this case is 316, 100% match uh, to ASI 316 great, right? So again, with this unit, the good, good old thing you can do is take a picture, right? You have two different cameras here, the micro one and the macro one, right? So I'll use this one. You can take a picture of yourself also, or your friend, but in this case, we're gonna take a picture of the blog that we just tested. Okay. Press the trigger and the picture is taken. I press save and then, just like we did for the 304, we are gonna name the sample, right? So we're gonna say 316 certified reference, all caps, certified reference material. Sorry, yeah, okay. Again, just like the X200, you can export the, you know, the report right away. Just go to sure, okay, and send via Bluetooth, okay? However, I don't need the report anymore. I have a lot of these in my phone. So, I mean, you see, the units are pretty easy to use and they are, you know, very good to use at site specifically. Super lightweight and, uh, yeah. Doom, doom. So, let's talk about the maintenance for the device, right? So, for the Z902, for the LIPS devices, uh, the maintenance is basically replacing the argon cylinder, right? So this one you see, or this one you see is the small, good old argon cylinder, right? So the, the replacement is pretty easy. You just pop this thing out, right? And you, you know, just unscrew the, the thing and you put the new one, that's all. In addition to that, you know, uh, every once and then, you can click, clean the lenses uh, to remove the dirt and of course take good, or, good care of your lovely unit here, right? So this is uh, for the Z902 and for the X200 uh, uh, or for the XRF technology, same thing basically, just cleaning the unit, taking good care of it and you know, not a lot of maintenance goes here also. Yeah, so this is the, these are the units here we have from the PSYOPs and you see their performance and their accuracy and their ease of use, uh, especially if you are, you know, in a remote place, you just want to run some tests. You run a test and instantly in seconds you get the results, you get the report in your smart device, you can send this over to whoever it is you want to send to, right? Well, that's all. Thank you.